Hello and welcome back to Otogi Myth of Demons. So this video is going to be very short. I'm going to give you a warning right now. This is going to be a very, very short video. The reason behind that is because this stage is not quite a it's it's not a boss fight let me rephrase it's not a boss fight uh it's more of a can you do a thing under a certain amount of time um and we can being max level having the equipment we do we don't have to worry about this stage at all it's it's pretty straightforward so uh what we've got equipped, I have the Holy Staff, I have the Chimera level 3 spell, and I have, for my accessory, the Belt of Good Omen for defense. Now, uh, what we are doing, I'm going to describe this before we get into it, because time is a factor on this stage. So, there is a demon that we need to make sure they do not escape from their current restraints uh, in order to do that we need to drive in the nails or posts in its appendages uh, in order to make sure it cannot be released while we are doing this this demon is able to create a lightning like explosion around it and the more times it's able to conduct this lightning or cast this spell i don't know what it is uh the the greater the area of effect that this spell will have um, meaning that we will have less and less time to go in and drive in these nails. So, uh, there's no hidden agenda. There's nothing in this, this, uh, stage to acquire. It is just going in, nailing in these posts, and that's it. So, uh, what I have, like I said already, Holy Staff, I've got uh, the highest defense accessory I have, and I have the Chimera spell, um, which gives us the highest attack and defense at the same time. Uh, so that's what I'm going in with. Let's hear the narrator describe what we're in for. Stop the revival of the demon god, sealed away deep underground by the court. All right, and that demon is Nayatu, an ancient demon god created long ago, but which proved so powerful it was sealed away underground. The flashes from its mouth turn all to ashes. House of Oryu. So, just so you know, this uh, spell, I guess, that's cast, the, the flashes that they speak about, um, that turn all to ashes. It is an instant kill if you are close enough to the area of effect. So, we need to be extra cautious. We have plenty of time. So, if you are playing this yourself, as soon as you get a hint that this spell is about to go off. Back away. There, There's no reason to stay in there whatsoever. You have plenty of time to get through this as long as you are cautious. So that is my, that is the biggest uh, suggestion, hint, you know, secret to this, this level is just be, if anything, be cautious or overly cautious on the stage. So uh, let's get into this and I will show you how to go ahead and complete this. It's going to be a very, very, very 
very short video because there's nothing to destroy here. Uh, whatever can be destroyed will be destroyed by this demon. Let's go. Stop the revival of the demon god. Sealed away. A short time before the great seal was created. The court summoned a powerful demon god to battle the demons. But so great was its power that no sorcerer could control it. Having no other choice, the demon was sealed underground. But they built a palace over the seal to bask in its power. That seal was the foundation upon which the court was built. Oh, and here we go. But now, the seal that holds the demon god is beginning to fail. I am sure this, too, is more of Michisane's doings. I There's... know not why he wishes to free this demon. I apologize. But we must not allow him to use the demon god's powers. The demon is still being held. Hurry and repair the seal. All right, so there are six seals we need to repair. Do you see the stakes impaling its paws? You must drive in those stakes with all of your might. Remember, this is a powerful demon. Even the court feared it. You must have your wits about you. Okay. So, uh, heavy attacks are the only things that work here. Uh, we were able to get the first two right away. Uh, there are four more. And it's a pretty straightforward, um, level. So, as you feel rumbling, as you see lightning, get away. That, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, Otherwise, it's uh, just nail these things in. Two more still remain. Okay. So each time that we uh, get the demon to there is yet one more cast its spell or whatever it is uh, it will increase the range of its spell and that's what's what will give us the eventual a rating on uh, this this map so I'm gonna let this go so we can get that A rating. However, I could complete this right now. You just have to hit the uh, the posts that its arms are attached to three, maybe four times at a time. Um, and that will nail in each one. I've got uh, five out of six so far. There's nothing to destroy in here. There's nothing to... No spirits to release. It is simply just seal this guy in. So I'm going to wait for one more burst. 
hopefully it will take care of these uh, the last chains. Give us an A rating. Yep, there's the last chains. And there we go. That's it. That is it. That's the whole level. As long as you know what to do, it's super easy, le easy level. What is this? A human? Back from the dead, no less. How amusing. Let us test your strength. Come to my palace. All right. That was it. The time has finally come. I curse my own feebleness. Though I talk of the past, I do not know the future. I shall fulfill my ancient promise. We got an A in objects destroyed, despite the fact that we destroyed no objects. We got 100% spirits released because there were no spirits, defeated one enemy, and that was it. There's nothing to unlock there, nothing to find the simplest of levels right there. So I, I do hope you are not too disappointed with the lack of length in this video, because that is all the stage has to offer. Um, no one should have a problem with that stage, period. Um, after even if you went into this completely blind not knowing how the mechanics work you would only need to go through this two times at most i feel uh, once you realize that if the demon casts a spell that instantly kills you you move away once you can it, the game gives you so much time and so much warning to get away from the spell that I can't see people not getting through this on only the second go through. So, um, let's see, did we get any money from that? I don't think so, no. So we still have these two weapons to purchase. Um, Chances are I'm probably going to farm a little bit for gold because specifically we only have two stages left in this entire game and I want to acquire everything. Even if I don't use it, I want to acquire it. So, um, we have gone through 27 stages. Everything is completed up until this point. Ooh, we are missing. Um, we're missing some stuff here. Shockingly enough, in the Red Sea, uh, everything else has been completed in this game. I do need to go back and uh, clear through the Red Sea. Apparently, I thought I had done that, but I must be incorrect. Outside of that, uh, we're good to go. Uh, after the next stage, we will unlock the last weapon. We will also, assuming I farm, which I plan to do, acquire the last two weapons in the shop, and we will be at 100% completion, save for the last level. And I will show you, we've heard her before. <laughs> uh, I will show you in the very last episode of this playthrough. I will show you both the easy way to complete the last boss of the game, as well as the difficult way, if you don't follow this walkthrough. Of course, why you wouldn't follow this walkthrough, I don't know. Uh, it makes no sense to me, but 
some people might want to bang their head against the wall. <laughs> I, uh, I personally have put this out there so people can get through this in the, the most enjoyable way possible and the most um, conducive way possible. I don't know what, how to define it, but um, I've given you all the tools. If you decide to follow my my lead, great. If not, that's that's up to you. Enjoy the game how you want to enjoy it. So, as always, I really do hope you enjoyed the video, even though it is a very short one. Uh, the last few videos have been very short in general. Um, nothing I can do to control that, unfortunately. Um, however, any love you could give to the channel or to the video itself is very, very greatly appreciated. I really do appreciate every subscription, every like, every comment that I see um, on my channel. So thank you so much for everyone who have been journeying with me through this game. Um, I hope you are all having a great night, a great day. I hope you are all doing well, and I will see you in the next video. So long.